You know, the Imperial Palace in Tokyo was worth as much as the entire U.S. state of California, and Tokyo real estate could sell as much as $139,000 per square foot, which was 350 times Manhattan. Isn't all that stuff good things? No. That's what led to the bubble that they had, and then boom! That's called the lost decade that they went through. It was a pretty tough situation Japan went through, and this became a case study again why China should be watching very closely to the decisions they may be making because similar things may be happening to them very soon.